the MAC in MAC address filtering stands for Media Access Control. This is the hardware address that is assigned to a device. And when you're looking at a wireless network, you'll be able to see everybody communicating between wireless devices using this Media Access Control address. Now that you have a way to see who's communicating back and forth using that MAC address, you can now administrate who's going to have access to the network based on that MAC address. This means that you can keep your neighbors out of the network. You can keep people from stumbling onto your network and gaining access to the network. Even if your network was in the clear, it was not encrypted, you would still be able to administer the access point so that it restricted only the MAC addresses that you would like to have access to the network. If you ever wanted to see the MAC addresses that were communicating on your wireless network, they're always sent in the clear. The MAC address is never encrypted. So you can load up some packet gathering software, a network analysis tool that can listen to the packets coming through and store them, and you can see exactly who's communicating on the network by MAC address. If you're trying to get into a wireless network that may be using MAC address filtering, it can be very easy in your computer to spoof a MAC address. You could use a MAC address address that somebody was using during the day. You can make a note of it. And then at night, you can change the MAC address of your computer so that you look like the person who is communicating during the day. That gets right through a MAC address filter. And that's why it becomes more of a challenge to be able to use this as a security tool. In fact, it's not a very good security tool at all. It's something called security through obscurity. By simply allowing or disallowing access based on MAC addresses, the end user may not realize it, but somebody who's familiar with the process of how you would restrict or filter this information absolutely knows how to get around this. So even though it keeps out the honest people, still the bad guys who want to get into your network can easily get through a wireless network that's using MAC address filtering very easy to administer MAC address filtering. You can do this right on almost any wireless access point these days. You'll have a screen that will come up that will show you Ethernet filtering. You can assign exactly what addresses you would like to go through the network. You would manually add in all of the MAC addresses on your network that would go through here. So this is a little bit more administration. If you ever need to remove or add somebody to this list, you have to go into the configuration and remove them or add them. And as people are moving in and out of your network, that may not be exactly the easiest way to administer access. But if you're also using encryption, you're also using other methods to secure your network, you should absolutely combine these together to make sure your network is as secure as possible.